Hi boys and girls, Steph is going to read Little Red Riding Hood and it's illustrated by Mike Gordon. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Little Red Riding Hood. She always wore a bright red cloak with a bright red hood. I love my cloak. She lived with her mother in a cottage on the edge of some deep dark woods. One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mother gave her a pot of Brussels sprout soup. Take this to your grandmother on the other side of the woods, she said, but remember the rules of the wood. I promise, said Little Red Riding Hood, and off she went, skippity skip, skippity skip, skip. Oh, what a lovely day, said Little Red Riding Hood. Good morning, Little Red Riding Hood, called the woodcutter. Good morning, woodcutter, called Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood walked deeper and deeper into the deep, dark woods. It grew darker and darker, so Little Red Riding Hood didn't see the wolf waiting for her on the path, and the wolf didn't see Little Red Riding Hood either. Little Red Riding Hood stumbled straight into the wolf. Oh, ah, uh, oh! What are you doing in the middle of the path? asked Little Red Riding Hood. I nearly spilled my grandmother's Brussels sprout soup. Sprouts? Yuck! Wolves only eat juicy red meat. Little Red Riding Hood had forgotten the rule, don't talk to wolves. The wolf was just about to gobble Little Red Riding Hood when he had a brilliant idea. I'll eat Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother. And where does dear little granny live? asked the wolf. In the cottage on the other side of the wood, said Little Red Riding Hood. The wolf raced to the cottage and knocked on the door. Tap, tap, tap. Come in, called grandmother. The wolf leapt into the room and gobbled up Little Red Riding Hood's grandmother in two seconds flat. Mmm, bony, but not too bad. Then he pulled on her cap, jumped into bed and waited for Little Red Riding Hood. Soon there was a knock at the door. Tap, tap, tap. Come in, snarled the wolf as softly as he could. Little Red Riding Hood looked at her grandmother, then looked again. Oh, Granny, what big ears you have, all the better to hear you with. Oh, Granny, what big eyes you have, all the better to see you with. Oh, Granny, what big teeth you have, all the better to eat you with. In one bound, the wolf was out of bed and gobbling up Little Red Riding Hood. Delicious, he said. Then he fell fast asleep. As he slept, he snored very loudly. What's going on? wondered the woodcutter. He's eaten that poor old woman, realised the woodcutter. He picked up some scissors. He snipped open the wolf's tummy. Snippity snip, snippity snip. Out popped grandmother and little red riding hood too. Quick as a flash, Little Red Riding Hood picked up some stones and piled them into the wolf's tummy. When the wolf woke up, he tried to sneak out the door. Rattle, rattle, rattle. But the stones rattled and rattled and rattled inside him. Now everyone can hear me coming. I'll never catch anyone, cried the wolf. Exactly, said the woodcutter. You'll just have to eat the vegetables instead, said Little Red Riding Hood. The wolf was never able to eat another person. A uh, Brussels sprout soup! As for Little Red Riding Hood, she never talked to a wolf again. There. End.